um, I just want everyone to be welcome. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Sorry, marami ako tinitignan ano, uh, screens kasi screens and laptop and then the phone para makita ko if there's uh, comments coming in. Okay. So, um, so for this week, we're going to discuss um, <clears throat> how to teach your kids uh, to read. Okay. So, this is for our first episode of the Thursday. Thursday, ayan. So, let me go to... Okay. So, yeah. So, Today, ayan, yan tayo ha. Uh, how we can teach our kids to read at home. Uh, this is an, an introduction to phonics. Okay, so I'll discuss further later and the difference now um, teaching your kids to read phonetically and teaching them using sight words. So I did discuss it later on. Okay. Right. So, kung bago lang kayo, hello ulit. Uh, I'm Kat Santiago. I am a homeschool mom of three kids. Um, uh, they've been homeschooled since birth. So, this is our eighth year. Pagmalong taon na namin na pag-homeschool. So, hindi sila pumasok sa regular school. Um, they've been homeschooled. Ano, simula na pinanganak sila. Ganyan. So, yung panganay ko si Kuya V, he's incoming grade 3 student. And then, the, the two toddlers, I have two toddlers. We have Z, who is three years old. And then, Bunso, who is one year old, turning two years old uh, next week. And we're there. Mututu na siya. So, dalawang aking toddlers. I also blog at petitmama.com where there I share um, our homeschool journey, um, some parenting tips, some homeschool, uh, some home management um, ideas, product reviews, and all those stuffs about mommy blogging there. <laughs> okay, so let me just check our comments. Hello. Good afternoon po. Mommy's Donna. Mommy Shirley. And so thank you for, for joining us for the first Thursday Thursday episode of Petite Mama's World. Okay. So, okay. so for today, um, we'll discuss about um, how to teach your kids to read at home. So, bakit pa natin kailangan silang turuan? Kasi for me, kasi, uh, advocacy ko kasi, as much as possible, you homeschool your kids in the preschool years. Meaning, uh, you don't send them to play schools or nurseries or alam mo maraming uh, types of, of preschool uh, for them to learn. Kung yun lang naman yung goal niyo matuto yung anak niyo paano magbasa, paano magsulat, you can do that at the comfort of your own home. Okay, so maraming na um, di-discourage mag-homeschool kasi feeling nila na kung hindi ko kaya, baka hindi ko kaya maturuan yung anak ko. But don't think that way. Kasi I myself, I'm not an education graduate. Wala akong background sa education. In fact, my undergrad is agribusiness. Di ba? Parang malayo. Tapos yung master's ko, industrial relations. So sobrang malayo sa education. I don't have any background on, on, on teaching kids. The only background that I have was, may mga kapatid ako mas maliliit sa akin before, na tinuturuan ko, yun lang. And then, uh, siguro a one stint na, uh, tawag dito, outreach program. That's it. Um, I have never taught kids before, except for my siblings, yun lang yung mga kapatid ko. So, um, with, with homeschooling, uh, many many moms do not know na nag-homeschool na talaga sila. Kasi for, for me, for us, for our family, we believe that homeschooling is a lifestyle. So, from the time that we wake up, until the time that we sleep, we are actually homeschooling. Because kids learn from different things. They can learn um, discipline. They can learn life skills. Y- kayo mga mami, nagagawa nyo na yun, okay? Yung pagtuturo nyo sa anak nyo na saan itatapon yung basura, sa basurahan, that's already homeschooling. So, hindi nyo lang alam, nag-homeschool na talaga kayo. Tapos, bumibili pa kayo ng mga books for about the alphabet. You, you um, take time to read books for kids. That's already homeschooling. So, in essence, you are really homeschooling na. Uh, so, let's take it further, di ba? Let's why not teach them um, to read, Okay. So, um, there are two kinds of, of, of teaching how to read, ha? Hindi ako expert, ha? But I'm just sharing with you kung ano yung ginawa ko at yung gagawin ko dun sa mga anak ko. Kasi, um, para naman ma-share ko naman, di ba? Uh, so, there are two kinds, di ba? So, um, first is uh, phonetics. It's, it's phonetic reading. Ibig sabihin ng pagde-decode ng bawat letters. May sound yung bawat letter. So, that's phonetics, read, phonetic reading. You decode the sound of the letter. And then, the other one is through sight words. Sight words naman, ito ay listahan ng mga words na commonly mo nakikita sa mga libro. 
okay, sa mga uh, children's books. And this is, so, marami ka makikita na online. Just, just search for sight words. You'll get a list of that. So, the difference about teaching them to read sight words is phonetics. Yes, yung sight words is mostly memorization. Okay? So, the more that they see the word, by using flashcards, kanyan, uh, doon nila na may memorize yung word na yun. So, pag nakita nila, alam na nila kung ano yung word na yun. Nababasa na nila yung word na yun. Um, but those, that's for sight words alone. Kailangan, equip mo, for, for me, more important, well, equally important, at more impo equally important is to teach them how to read phonetically yung i-dedicate mo yung bawat the sounds of the letters, okay? So I always, uh, I have a blog post about this, eh, about how we, we taught our kids to read. Kasi uh, before teaching them how to read, uh, phonetically, kailangan ma-enhance muna natin yung kanilang phonological awareness. Okay? So, ano ba tong phonological awareness na to? Um, phonological awareness is uh, basically yung ability ng person to identify uh, a certain sound uh, in the language. So, pwede siyang words, pwede siyang syllable, pwede siyang rhymes. Ayun. So, you have to develop that first. Kasi, yun yung una naririnig nila eh. Uh, Bikita example. Like, uh, the word car and far. Diba? So, they are rhymes. So, mas maganda na de-develop natin na yung, yung hearing ng bata na ma-distinguish yung difference ng word na far pag narinig niya and word na car pag narinig niya. Okay? So, that's rhyming already. Okay? So, so that's phonological awareness. Okay? So, um, what are the ways that we can develop phonological awareness? Okay. There. So, these are some of the activities that you can use uh, to develop that. You can use clap games. Kanyari, makakaon kayo, mama, o, oh, dalawang syllable. So, that's um, every time that you make a sound or from a, a particular word, you do clapping. Kanyari, um, car. Okay, so isang syllable lang siya. So, by, by, by doing that, by doing that, na napapractice yung ano nila, yung ears nila na ah, may narinig akong particular sound, isang sound. Ano may yun, ganun. So, in a whole muna tayo sa phonological awareness. Kailangan natin ma-develop muna yun bago natin ma uh, turuan sila on phonetics. Okay. So, other activities pinapapawisan na Kita niyo ba yung pawis ko? <laughs> Other activities, yun. Um, you read books with rhymes. Uh, maganda example is yung mga Dr. Seuss's na books. Maganda sila. You can buy it sa mga book sale. Yun, mura lang doon. Uh, you can see nursery rhymes. And uh, you can say three to four words and ask your child to identify which words rhyme. Kunyari. Uh, ano ba? Teka. Ito, actually, I use this, ha? So, uh, toddlers ko. Pero yan, kita ba? Ayan. This is a rhyming match game. Sa nakita. Okay. So, uh, may Velcro to. Ayan. So, I let them. I remove muna natin yung Velcro. Okay. Okay. So, there. Uh, Meron siyang words sa taas. Like, we have here the dock. The, the truck. The clock and the bear. So, halos magkakasound, di ba? Pero, uh, you can teach them how to uh, distinguish kung ano yung right. So, I, I use pictures like this. We have sock. And then, I ask him, where there, where, uh, which word does it rhyme to? Is it the dock? Asa na yung dock? Ayan. Dock? Is it the car? Is it the clock? Or is it the bear? So, clock, sock. Yeah, that's, and they'll, they'll attach it there. Ganyan. So, you can download this online. Uh, ito, prekinders.com. So, na-download ko siya sa... Uh, na-download ko lang siya sa prekinders.com. Um, Pre-need ko lang siya, tapos uh, nilaminate ko. Medyo makapal nga yung laminating film. Kung ito rin nilaminate mga ayos. Nilaminate ko lang siya, and then I put yung Velcro. Yung Velcro na bili ko sa Lazada. Ganyan. So, yeah. So, yeah. Truck. We have truck. Duck. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I have, I think... Dalawa lang atin ganito. Um, magana pa ako na ibang ganyan na printables online para to practice with the, with my toddlers. Yan. 
Okay, so that's phonological awareness. Okay. If you have questions, just please comment at them sa uh, sa Facebook, sa ano natin, sa chat natin para makita ko. Okay, wait lang. Let me just read the comments. Ayan, Lorelai, um, I didn't buy it. Printed ko lang siya. Uh, dinownload ko sa freekinders.com. Ayan, so hanapin mo lang yung rhyming, mat rhyming matching game na printables. Marami namang free printables online eh, that you can find. Sa ano, ano lang? Search, search lang. Ayan, ayan siya. Pwede, pinama ko na siya. Okay, so, we go next to, um, Phonemes, so the phonemes or phonemes, and then. So, what are the phonemes? This is the smallest unit of sound. Okay. So, this is the sound that you need. Well, let's say, ah, let me get here. Okay. Ah, wait, let me question. Ah, mommy, ano po tawag sa parang magnet? It's actually Velcro. Velcro lang yun. Hindi siya magnet yung ginamit ko. Velcro siya. Okay, let's just use this. Okay, as an example. So you know that this is the letter M. Uh, the the name of the letter, the letter name is M. Hi, so and the sound of this letter is M. Mm. Okay, M. Mm, ganyan. M. Mm. And when we write this, when we see this, we know that it's a letter C. But it has uh, a sound of K for car. Or pwede na siyang for city, diba? So, you would know that there are, that the English language has different sounds for a particular letter. So, huwag na hihilak, please. Okay, so, um, English yung tinuturo ko, ha? Kasi sa Filipino, medyo mas madali siya. Sa Filipino kasi, the letter has a particular sound lang. Like for vowels, we have, diba meron tayong A, E, E, O, U. Alam na natin, all through all sa Filipino, yun lang yung sound niya. And like in English, there are different sounds for a particular letter. Like yung sinabi ko nga, like yung sa letter C, pwede siyang K for car, pwede rin siyang S for city. Diba? So, it has two sounds already. Ganun din with the vowels of the English alphabet. Let's say the letter I, it can be sounded off as an E, for let's say lit, and it can be sounded off as I, for light. So, di ba? Two sounds na kagad, okay? So, sa phonemes kasi, in the English language, there are at least 40, at least 40 phonemes in the English language. So, yun yung smallest unit of sound. Ngayon, you have to develop the ears of your child to distinguish that particular sound. Ganyan. So, let's go to the next slide. So, ano ba yung activities that we can do to develop the phonemic awareness of the child? Okay. So, we can do sound discrimination. As for, as katulad ng in-example ko kanina, narinig naman ako, no? Katulad ng example ko kanina na, um, uh, car and far. So, there's a difference between a k and a f. So, car, far. So, that's sound discrimination already. Or mama and papa. Different sounds ng m and p. Beginning yun. So, another um, activity is segmentation. Okay. Segmentation means, um, just means na ini isa isa mo yung sound ng letter. Okay. So, let's have an example over here. Let me write down a word. Right? So we have here our word cat. We have the word cat. So if we're going to segment it, ibig sabihin, isa-isahin natin yung sound ng bawat letter. We have the We have the A. And we have the Okay? So there are three sounds in that particular word. We have a k, a, t. So, that's segmenting. Isolation naman, ito na rin, same example na nang gagamitin ko, is you isolate or inihiwalay mo yung isang sound lang. Okay. So, for example, pag medyo familiar na yung bata sa different sounds of the letters, you can say, what's the beginning sound of the word cat? 
that's the beginning sound. So you can say that, so, so your child can say the beginning sound is k, k, so that's isolation. You can then ask, uh, what is the uh, end sound or the last sound in the word cat? So you can say, or your child can say, it's t, t. Okay, so that's isolation. Okay, so that, that's what it only means. In isolate mo, hinihiwalay mo yung sound of particular um, letter sa isang word. The next one is blending. Okay, so actually sa so blending kami nahirapan. Um, siguro nag-stop nag muna kami ng two months ni Kuya V uh, para lang kasi medyo na-stress na ako <laughs> nasa-stress na rin siya sa pag-blend na siya nahihirapan i-blend yung mga sounds ng mga letters so uh, what we did was wag na, what, kung ano yung nag-work sa amin is we actually use an application it's, we use an app in his tablet um, reading eggs ata yun eh I would have to look pa. Nasulat ko sa blog ko, reading eggs ata yan. Doon, doon siya mas natutong mag-blend, okay? Kasi doon nahihirapan ng mga bata na, paano ko, ipag, paano ko siya uh, pag-iisahin? Paano ko siya gagawing word, di ba? Kasi I know the sound of the k, I know the sound of the a, I know the sound of the er. How can I make it into one word? Car, di ba? So, medyo doon, sa blending, sa blending doon kami nahihirapan with QV. Uh, I'm not sure kung doon may magiging smooth kami pagdating doon sa dalawang fathers. Pero, ayun, heads up lang. Uh, um, minsan, medyo, madali, medyo, medyo mahirap sa ibang kids yung isang particular activity pagdating sa phonics. Okay. Ayan. So, that's uh, uh, ways of developing phonemic awareness. Alright. So, after natin uh, ma-develop yung phonemic awareness natin, that's where, that's when um, phonics come in. Okay. So, ano ba yung phonics? So, si phonemes, yun yung sound na narinig natin about a particular letter. Yung phonics is, dinidikit na natin yung sound dun sa symbol niya, which is the letter. Okay, so, the, the child knows that it's a k, narinig lang niya, pero hindi niya alam ko ano yung symbol na yun. So, that's when we introduce the letters, okay? So, that's when we introduce the letters. For us, um, with my two toddlers, ang um, naging plan ko talaga is to um, teach them the sounds of the letters first. So, hindi nila alam ang names ng letters, yung alphabet, they don't know the names. But they can identify the sounds of some of the letters. If you have seen um, a few of my videos, uh, si Ignis, yung one-year-old ko, he can identify the sounds of the vowels. Okay, so if he sees, uh, and they get here. Kunin ko lang yung aking Montessori sandpaper. So, ito, if he sees this, he knows it's an A. Okay, he knows it's an A. If he sees this, he knows an A. Okay, so, he's familiar with the sounds of the letter, but he doesn't know the names of the letter. Pero, they can sing the alphabet song. <laughs> A, B, C, D, ganun. Kaya, nila, kaya ni Zoe yun, yung aking uh, three-year-old. Kaya niyang uh, sab kantahin yung kanta, pero he, she doesn't uh, no yet yung association ng letter A dun sa particular symbol. Pero pagdating sa sound, she understands. She knows the sounds of the letters. So, yun, why? Bakit? Um, before kasi kay Kuya V, ang um, una kong tinuro is yung alphabet. So, bef by one year old, he knows na his alphabet. So, sabi ko, oh, tungtuwa naman ako. Diba first time, ma'am, magaling na anak ko, alam yung alphabet. Pero eventually, nahirapan kami sa phonics, sa phonics ng pagtuturo ng, ng sounds and letters. Um, kasi he's very familiar with the name of the letters na pagdating sa phonics, kailangan niya i-switch yung utak niya na ay uh, iba pala, may sounds and may name ng letters. Pero it really depends on the bata ko. With, with my son lang, ha, nahirapan lang talaga kami. And then eventually, through the years, I read some articles nga, um, especially sa Montessori, they said that it's better talaga na to teach the kids the sounds of the letters first before yung names. So, yun yun yung ginagawa ko dun sa dalawang toddlers namin. Ayun. So, ayun pa pala, another thing, siguro tip na rin to. Kasi, um, si Kuya V, when he was three, ang galing-galing niya pagdating sa mga capitalized na letters, na-identify niya yun. Pero pagdating sa small letters, hindi niya, medyo nalilito siya, especially dun sa mga W, sa mga X, mga ganyan. Nalilito siya. Um, siguro tip ko na rin lang is to expose your kids more sa 
small letters. So, small letters muna. Kasi yun naman yung mga letters na makikita nila pagdating sa mga books or pagdating sa flashcards. Mga small letters naman yun. So, that's just a tip for me. Okay? So, ayan. Kaya, I'm doing um, phonics for my kids. Okay. So, teka lang. Ano ba to? Ah, ito na. Alright. So, paano ko tuturuan ng phonics ng anak ko? Okay. So, with Kuya, we used um, the curriculum Sing, Spell, Read, and Write. I think I have my book here. Wait lang. I have here uh, the Sing, Spell, Read, and Write. This is a U.S. curriculum. Um, this is one of the books. This is, there, are, there were two books for this kinder level, K1 level. There are two books for um, Sing, Spell, Read, and Write for students, and then another book for teachers. So, ito yung ginamit ko kay Kuya. Ito yun, Sing, Spell, Read. So, I'll just show it to you, ha? Para may idea lang ko. So, inuna nila yung visible discrimination. Actually, I added this sa blog ko. Yung visible discrimination yung para makita ng bata yung what's the difference between two pictures or find uh, find something, what's wrong in the picture. Ganyan, alike and different. Ganyan. So, you have to, to develop this as well. Ah. Kasi kailangan matrain mo na yung mga mata nila na, ah, ito different itong star na to sa star na to. Different itong shape to sa shape na ito. Kasi, once we develop that, mas madali na lang for them to distinguish yung differences ng mga quit-quit uh, ng mga letters. Yung way na pagkakasulat ng mga letters. Okay. So, si Sing, Spell, Read, and Write, I bought this from C&E Publishing. This is a local um, print. Hindi na sila nagbebenta. Eh, sorry. Hindi na sila nagbebenta nito. So, if you want to buy it, US, ano na talaga siya? US print na yung mabibili niya. Meron pa naman daw na bibili dito sa Philippines. Pero, medyo mahal. Okay. Mahal siya. Uh, the, the, the local print, I got this for less than 3,000. I think 2,800 or something. And then, kasama na nun yung mga letter, uh, mga phonic, phonetical, phonic storybooks. Ganyan. Pero kung wala na ba kaya, it's okay. You can uh, actually use YouTube. Um, you can search um, Jolly Phonics. So, so yung ibang mga school, ginagamit nila yung Jolly Phonics. J-O-L-L-Y. Jolly Phonics. Parang Jolly B. Uh, yun, ginagamit nila yun for, for their kids and sa mga schools, ginagamit rin nila yun. If you have, if you don't have the same spell, read and write. So, for me, for the two toddlers, I'm still going to use this curriculum, pero hindi ko na siya gagawin in such a way na uh, kung ano yung nasa libro yung pagkakasunod-sunod, yung, yung uh, chronological, <laughs> ano niya, hindi ko na, hindi ko na susundin yun. So, ang gagawin ko is ito. Ito ko na, ano yung nakikita nyo sa screen nyo. Um, so, wherever we started with the vowels muna, with vowels. Bakit ako binag-start with vowels? Kasi, yun yung madalas na makikita mo sa mga words. Like, say, example natin kanina, di ba? Cat, car. We always see the vowels and they help um, give the word an identity. Okay? So, dahil sa mga vowels na yun. So, we started with vowels. So, alam na ng mga anak kong dalawang toddlers yung A, E, I, O, U. Okay? So, um, for... Um, English, you have to understand that there's a difference with the sound, how you sound the letters A, E, I, O, U, okay? So, so Filipino kasi A, E, I, O, U lang tayo, di ba? But with, with, with the English, with English, it's it's not an A, but it's A. It's not E, and then E, O, and then A. Uh. It's not U, it's A uh, for umbrella, up, under, di ba? So, it's an a. Uh. So, these are the short vowel sounds. So, uh, yan ang short vowel sounds. The, the long vowel sounds, eventually, next time mo na ituro yun, you start with the short vowel sounds kasi yun yung mas familiar, magiging familiar yung bata na mga words. So, you start with the a, e, e, o, and then a. Uh. Yeah. So, we start with the vowels. So, yun ang ginawa namin. So, ayun. <laughs> and then, eventually, uh, teka lang. Ngayon pala, may kwento ako. May nakita kasi ako sa isang Montessori uh, group. I think sa US yun eh. Na nag-group na, na I'm a part of member ako. May nag-comment na isang Montessori teacher. And uh, tama daw yun na yun nga. You start with, with the vowels. Kasi may nag-post, nag nag-comment siya. Let's start with the vowels. And then, uh, ito yung sinabi niya na pagkakasunod-sunod ko ano yung tinuturo nila. So, from the vowels, um, tinuro nilang next is the sound of the 
consonants, the short letters, yung mga maliliit, like the k, m, n, r, s, v, w, x, m, yan, doon. So, small, uh, the short letters, yung maliliit. Ayan. And then, after that, uh, they, they, uh, they teach naman daw yung tall letters. Yan, yung B, B, F, H, K, L, T. And then, last, yung tinuturo nila for the sounds is yung uh, tail letters, the G, J, P, Q, and Y. Yan. So, if you don't know how to sound it off, those letters, you can search online, the, the, the Jolly Phonics, or um, I follow J, D, A, that's J, A, D, Y, tapos A period, you know, so YouTube, uh, she has lots of information, lots of videos on how you can teach your kids at home. So, yun, idol ko yun, so pinafollow ko yun sa YouTube. Um, Meron siyang videos dun on the, I think it her child is two years old, and the uh, repeat out phonetically ng bawat letters. Ng sounds ng bawat letters. So, yun. so maganda siya. So, you search J-A-D-Y J-D-A yeah, on YouTube. Just lots of information on how to teach your kids at home. Uh, ano ba ba? Wait lang. Balik mo na ako sa mga <laughs> ano, questions niyo. Si pre Ah, yung ano? Wait lang ha. Ano yun? Uh, prekinders.com ayan mami mami Theresa it's uh, prekinders.com dun ko nakuha yung uh, print out free printable ng rhyming match games ayan prekinder dot prekinders may s prekinders.com yun dun ko siya nakuha okay Hello, good afternoon pa po sa mga sumali. Thank you for joining. Um, if you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. Lalo na sa mga mommy friends nyo na mayroong mga maliliit na bata. Na sa tingin nyo, uh, makakatulong ito, itong video na to para maturuan sila paano mag, um, magbasa. Okay? You're welcome, Mami Jimmy. Yes, uh, for small letters. Sing spell read. Ay, wala po sa, I don't know, wala siyang national bookstore. Ay, meron, meron siya ngayon. Uh, I forgot na sino yung local distributor eh. Kasi pag ganun, alam ko mahal, hindi ko nag-retain sa memory ko. <laughs> Saka meron naman na akong copy, kaya hindi ko na siya nag-retain. Pero meron pa rin daw. Meron pa rin, meron pa rin daw nag-distribute locally no sing spell read and write. I'm not sure lang kung magkano ha. Medyo mahal yan eh. Kasi the, the local print alone is around 3,000, way, way, way back in 2000. 14. So, that's five years ago. So, uh, and at that time, ang local print kasi is, ano lang siya, brown lang. Yung normal paper lang siya. Yung US print kasi, mas maganda. Yung US edition. Kompleto siya. Pati yung mga, ano lang. Mas, mas, mas maganda yun. Mas maganda yun. Pero syempre, mas, mas, ano, mas pricey siya. Ayan. Yes, tama po. Prekinders.com. Yes, tama po yan, Mami Jimmy. And JDA, yes, J A D Y A period. Yes, tama po. JDA. Yeah. So actually dun ako sa kanya ako nag nanonood ng mga videos uh, kung paano magturo ng mga anak kasi she has she has four kids now. Nanganak siya last year ng ng youngest niya. She has four kids now and all of those kids are homeschooled. And matutuwa kasi yung mga bata ang gagaling na magbasa. Ayan. So, for us naman si Kuya V, uh, he learned how to read uh, at 3 years old. So, by the time he was kinder, he could read the books for grade 3 level na. So, magaling na siya magbasa. But for my two toddlers, especially kay Z, wala siyang interest pa <laughs> sa pagbabasa. Hindi siya katulad ng kuya niya na medyo advanced. So, it's okay. It's, ayun naman kagandahan ng pag-homeschool eh. Uh, we let them thrive at their own pace. We let them develop at their own pace. Hindi natin sila uh, pinupush kung hindi pa sila ready. So, but if you think your kids are ready na, just go ahead and teach them. Kasi marami nagtatanong, when can I teach my kid how to read? Ganyan. Um, kasi it really depends on the child. Kung ready na siya, pwede na yun. Kung hindi pa siya ready, huwag niyo man nang i-push kasi darating sa point yung bata na siya na yung aayaw. Yung magsasawa, especially yung mga bata maagi nag-aral. Ayan, nung nagsasawa sila mag-aral, ganyan, nagsasawa sila. Kaya, better na wag na lang. Ganun. Iba iba talaga yung mga bata. Okay. Uh, Saan na ba tayo? Hindi ko na masyado hindi discuss yung mga sounds and letters, ha? Kasi, <laughs> I'll find myself. <laughs> Parang ridiculous sa pagsasound of ng mga letters. Ha? Pero, if, if you... 
if you want, I could just go do a separate video for it na lang. Na just focus tayo sa sounds and letters. Pero uh, you can find naman online different, uh, different videos on how to sound them off. Yun. Just be careful. Ang um, ito lang tip ko ha, kung medyo matigas ang dila ninyo sa English, kasi nasa Filipino kasi, pag Filipino kasi ang Pinoy, pag nag-English, meron pa rin tigas ng dila. Kasi, I know that kasi nag-call center ako eh. It took me time to have that twang para mas, mag, mas, mas maging madali for me to teach the different sounds of the letters using the English alphabet. So, Ayun, so, ano lang, practice lang ng practice. Wala, huwag kayong mahihiya sa sarili nyo. And always enunciate. Okay lang yan kahit mag umbungangan nyo. <laughs> yung bibig ninyo, magulo na yung itsura. Okay lang yun kasi, uh, at least you sound it off um, better. Ayan, so, yun may kasi importante, yung, yung, yung sound it off na mas maayos para mas maintindihan na bata. Para mas, mag- mas madali nila mag-grasp yung tamang sounds of the letters. Ay, yung papala add ko. Uh, may panganay kasi Kuya V is an auditory learner when he was young. So, mas madali sa kanya makapick up ng sounds ng letters. Siguro kaya mas madali pa for him to to read at an early age. Isa pa yun. Magaling siya mag-pick up ng sounds. And then, another kwento. <laughs> kwento ko, dami no? Another kwento, I watched a BBC um, documentary. I think that's last week or Monday. I think that's that was last week. It's interesting kasi yung adults, kapag uh, mayroong very slight difference ng sound yung letter na ginawa or a particular word, hindi natin madetect. Pero yung babies, na much younger, like 6 months, nadetect nila yung difference ng sound. So, so ang galing, ba? So, kahit bata pa, mas ano sila, mas mabilis yung... Uh, mas magaling sila mag-detect ng differences in sounds. Ayan. Kaya nga, ba ang unang uh, nare-respond ng baby is yung the sound of the mother's voice. ba So, that, yun pala yun. So, magaling sila. Ma-share ko lang. Okay. Uh, so, that's for my... Ayan. So, questions na lang tayo. Okay. Balikan ko lang to ha. Sinasabay po ba ang pag-teach ng pagbabasa at pagsusulat? You can. Okay, you can do that. Again, it really depends on uh, on the child kung ready na siya. Uh, with um, my experience kasi with Kuya V, uh, hindi niya hilig ang magsulat. Yan, isa sa mga pita, ayaw niya talaga yung magsulat na yan. Ayaw niya. Um, mas gusto niya yung nagdo-drawing. So, what I did then, uh, inaya ako lang. Inaya ko lang. Uh, for the sing, spell, read, and write, kasi meron siyang mga activities for in the kid should write. Practice writing. Okay. Okay. Ito. Manuscript writing, ang tawag doon. May pagsusulat. Uh, <clears throat> so, meron na siyang practice na pag write ng letters. Ayan. Small letters and big letters. So, hindi ko masyadong uh, pinapush yun. Kung hindi pa siya ready. Kung mahilig naman siya magsulat, sige, go ahead. Okay lang naman yan magdoodle. He loves to draw. Uh, he still loves to draw. Numalit siya, gusto niya mas nag-drawing kesa magsulat ng letters. And that's okay for me. Uh, pero ngayon, medyo malaki na siya. Grade 3 na siya. Pinupush ko na siya magsulat kasi we are working on his spelling. Magaling siya magbasa. Pero yung spelling niya, that's where, what we are working on. Kasi he loves to make stories. He loves to uh, create books. Uh, na sarili niyang books. Pero mostly drawings lang. <laughs> Ganon. So sabi sa kanya, we have to practice uh, writing. You have to, uh, kasi ikaw lang makakaindi din ng story mo. Ng book mo kung walang words, di ba? So ayun. So we're pushing that. Kasi he's 8 na. But when he was younger, eh, siguro mga 1 to 2 uh, worksheets lang a day for practicing ng letters. Kasi, um, hindi naman kasi every day na, oh, isang araw na to, oh, for Monday, letter A, for Tuesday, letter E. Okay, I'm just gonna share with you what others do have. Um, what they do is, they do have a, a letter of the week. You can do that. You can do that uh, approach na every week, meron kang particular letter na tuturo sa anak mo. Okay? Na, letter A, uh, that's the A sound. So, you make several activities for the A sound. So, nalilang maghahanap ako na ano. 
gulat. So, for uh, themeasuredmom.com Ayan, themeasuredmom.com Meron siyang mga activities for um, free printable sana for um, letters of the week. Ayan. Check me yun. Like this one, oh. This one. Ayan, I have had this laminated. Ayan. So, for so say week one, okay, let's study letter A. Or oh, we have the A, apple, ant. So, yun. So, you check that out. Pwede yung gawin yun, yung every week letters, uh, every week isang letter. We, we did that with Z, pero hindi kami nakatapos ng vowel kasi hindi pa talaga siya ready. So, uh, I stopped at, siguro we started June, July, August, nag-windle na siya, nawawala na siya. Tapos sabi ko, ah, we have to stop. So, I stopped na lang yung letters, letters of the week. Kasi naging nangyari sa amin, letters every two weeks. <laughs> Hanggang sa, ayun na niya. So, sabi ko, I, let's just stop and we'll try again next school year. So, we'll try again this June kung ready na siya. So, yun naman din, kagandaan, when you are homeschooled, um, hindi mo na push yung bata sa, hindi pa siya ready. So, kids naman, they learn when they're ready. Pag hindi sila ready, wala sila ma-absorb. Pero pag ready na sila mag-aral, kaya na ng katawan nila. Kaya na ng isip nila. Mas mabilis para sa kanila ma-absorb yung information na ituturo mo. Ayan. So, okay. Next. Uh, okay. Okay lang ba yung dot tracing for practice writing sa school? Kasi ng daughter ko, ayaw nila ng dot tracing. Okay. Um, kasi, ito ang, ano ko dyan ha? Uh, ang aking opinion dyan ha? Uh, we have to um, develop first the fine motor skills of your kids para makasulat sila. So, I have a separate FB Live for that on how you can develop your fine mo the fine motor skills of your kids. Kasi kailangan yung mga muscles ng mga kamay nila develop eh. The muscles of the fingers, the hands, the wrist, dito, para mas makapagsulat sila. Ngayon, um, what I do and what I did with my kids is, uh, yes, nag trace sila. We do a lot of tracing. We did a lot of tracing with Kuya V. Kasi, uh, they have to, ano eh, we have to learn how to control. Yun dun muna talaga eh. Control muna ng tracing. So, first they start with uh, lines lang. Okay. And then eventually, magkakaroon ng zigzag. And then meron magkakaroon ng mga paloop-loop na ganyan. Until they trace naman the letters. Like what I, I showed earlier. Yung sa sing spell, read and write. Tracing pa rin yan ng letters. Kasi, um, it's a way naman eh, of learning eh, how to write. Now, for others naman, uh, they do a different approach. Um, they use uh, writing with uh, using sand. Ginawa namin yun actually. Ginawa ko yun with V. Uh, we used uh, writing naman using his fingers lang. Yung ititrace na yung letters. So, for my toddlers, at start of one year old, I let them trace. Kasi this is sandpaper. Eh, ayan. Sandpaper to. So, I let them trace this. Diba ang sensories, uh, senses ng mga batang maliliit at malalakas. So, I let them trace this. And then, they trace it back to a, uh, a tray na merong, we don't use sand eh. A tray na may uh, salt. Salt ang ginamit ko kasi pag asukal baka lang gamin. So, salt ang ginamit ko kay Kuya. Kay Kuya V. Yeah, for writing. So, that's another way of teaching your kids how to read. Tracing is okay. That really depends eh. Kung trip ng bata, matrace, okay lang naman. Ayun. Siguro yung, just, it, it really depends on the school. Sila sila, may kanya-kanya silang curriculum eh. Kaya, syempre, the curriculum that they have will be applicable to all kids. Unlike when you're homeschooling, you can have a curriculum different uh, sa isang anak, and sa pangalawa ng anak, ibang curriculum din yung ginagamit mo. So, you can, uh, you can play with the curriculum. Next. Yes, okay, if it shows interest na rin, just go ahead. Go ahead, more ano sila, pwede naman siyang lang mag ano eh. More on coloring, yes. Kasi it's part of ano na, learning how to, to, uh, uh, tawag dito, control yung movement ng fingers nila kung paano sila magsula. Ayun nga, uh, I'm not sure if you, found, if you saw my FB Live last week. Nagbigay ako ng tip. 
So, mga mahilig mag-colors. Buy this. Ito yung plastic yung lagyan para lahat ng colors nila nandito. Ayan. Tapos kapag anak ko to na 8 year old, kaya may pencil. Para, pat, ka, para kahit yung mga naputol ng crayons, pwede pa nilang gamitin kasi nasa plastic box sila. Alam mo, kasi pag sa box, uh, pupunit yung box, nasasira. Pag naputol na, hindi na magamit, nagkakawala-wala. At least pag nasa box sila, ganito, madali, magagamit pa nila ulit. Kahit naputol ng crayons. Uh, Mami Lorelai, ano po yung website? Uh, which one? Po? Ah, for the uh, letter of the week. The letter of the week. Uh, I got most of my printables kay measured, themeasuredmom.com. Kung tama ako, themeasuredmom.com. Teka lang ha, check ko dito. Yep, yep, themeasuredmom.com. Ito siya. So I got here. This was from last year, hindi na na ni Z. So, ito ah, themeasuredmom.com. Doon ko uh, dinownload yung printables for letters of the week. Yan, mga activities yun that you can do. Sight words, okay. So, ano ba yung sight words? Ito yung may sinasabi ko kanina na uh, it's a list of words that commonly see in the... Uh, uh, what do you call this? In books, in uh, in literature, in general, we see it in, uh, in in literature. So, what are these sight words? Examples of sight words are the words the, is, a, and ano pa ba? Those, why, where, what, how. Those are sight words. So, um, it depends on the level of the child for the different sight words. Kung ano yung sight word na magandang gamitin para sa bata. Ah, uh, sandali. Kunin ko yung ano ko, listahan ko. Ay, wala na pala dito. Meron ako kasing a list ng sight words for different levels. Uh, you can actually down, download it online. Marami kayong may kita. Uh, wala na siya dito. Baka naitabi ko na. Nagdilinis kasi ako yun ang gamit. Um, you can find online different um, lists of sight words. S-I-G-H-T. Sight words um, for different levels. Like for kinder, for grade 1, for grade 2. Uh, para alam nyo kani yung mga sight words na uh, pwede nyo ito sa mga anak nyo. Nung kay kuya, ang ginawa ko noon, nag-flashcards lang ako. Actually, ganito pa lang ginagamit ko. <laughs> memo. Memo pad lang. Sulat na ako sa memo pad. Sabi ko, okay, let's read the... Uh, uh, let's study. Oh. Kasi sa sight words, nag-ano lang ako. Ayan, for example, ayan, the, ganyan, sight words. Different kinds of words lang na nasa list niya. Uh, siguro mga two words per week, ganun lang. Para lang maging, ano siya, familiar with the words. Para, kasi it, it takes time naman for them to memorize all the words in the sight words na sa yung uh, list na yun. So, it's important for them to memorize those two kasi yun yung makakabuo nung sentence nila sa pagbabasa na ng libro. Kasi they can phonetically read, pero kung hindi nila alam yung sight words, hindi nila mababasa yung sentence na buo. Yes, clay is also good for uh, fine motor skills. Ayan, maganda rin yan. Actually, maraming activities for fine motor skills. Uh, wala na ako dito eh. Pero I have a, 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 an old Facebook Live dedicated for that on how to teach your child to, to write. Siguro I'll reshare na lang ulit sa, sa page para mabasa nyo, mapanood din nyo. Yes, uh, uh, more on memorization and familiarization ng ano, ang sight words. Kasi those are the words that you can't read phonetically. Like the word the. Kasi kung phonetically, it's a t. Eh, di ba? It's, that, it's not read that way. So, more on uh, uh, memorization na talaga siya. So, some kids, uh, some kids, they can read. Hindi nagulat yung magulat. Oh my gosh, ang galing naman anak ko, nakabasa na siya. Pero na-memorize lang yung, yung word dun sa book. 
Okay. <laughs> so, uh, then, n- n- malakas kasi minsan ang memory talaga ng bata. Ang bilis nila mag-absorb. So, if you're gonna teach phonetics, sabayan nyo na rin ang sight words para pag uh, nagbasa sila, especially yung mga uh, level-appropriate books, mas madali for them uh, to have that confidence to read. So, ako, meron akong uh, blog post na nirecommend ko. It's called uh, Phonics and Phonics and Reading nga ba yan? Basta meron ako Tingnan mo, nakakalimutan ko na. Basta mayroon ako blog post na uh, nire-recommend ko. You can buy this locally na books na ginamit ng anak ko when he started to read na. Kasi once they read na certain words, kailangan mo naman i-build up yung confidence nila na magbasa para ma-push pa sila na magbasa. Marunko approach, uh, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar. As what I've mentioned, uh, I'm only sharing what we did. So, ang dami ko hindi alam when it comes to uh, teaching kids uh, in homeschooling kids. There's, there are several approaches on how to teach kids. And I only share what we did kasi yun alam ko by heart. Yun ang alam ko. So, for others, uh, hindi ako familiar. If I don't use it, uh, I don't usually talaga recommend. And I don't share. Hmm. Unless ako talaga yung gumamit. Ganun ako eh. Kung alam kong ginamit ko, nag-work sa akin, I share it. If it doesn't work for me, sometimes I still share it kasi baka mag-work sa iba. Ayan. So, yun ang naman. Uh, the approaches are different and yung um, effects, yung effectiveness of appro- an approach, it will also really depends on the student. Yeah, Jimmy, marami ka pang aaralin. It's okay. Actually, I'm still learning. So, pero don't let that stop you. Uh, what I would really suggest for, for moms is to start na. You go ahead and start. Kasi these things, I didn't know them when I started. Parang ano lang ako, si Kamen, ano lang ako, ano yung alam ko, I'll do it. Eventually, if the information would come in, sige, let's do something, let's try this, it might work. Diba? Kasi if, ano mo yun, pag puro research, minsan nakaka-overwhelm, sa totoo lang, especially when you're a new, uh, new into homeschooling, nakaka-overwhelm yung daming information. Pero eventually, through the years, you get to have that experience na, na hindi mo lahat gagamitin. Yung matututo ka na mamili kung anong materials na yung bibilin mo, hindi ka na mag-hoard, hindi ka na, ah, atin ako lahat ng itong seminars na to. Yan. Mat- matututo ka nang mag- mag-tip kung ano yung applicable. Mama, na, na daw yung baby ko. Uh, we're about to finish na. Matututo ka mag- uh, mag-pick kung ano yung lang yung applicable for you, for your family, and for your kids. Ganyan. So, it's just to start. Just go ahead and start. It's okay. Ganyan. Nakaka-overwhelm, yes. Pero eventually you'll have that, that skill na i-distinguish kung ano lang kailangan mo at kailangan ng pamilya mo. Kasi before talaga, o oh, sige, kuha to, kuha niya yan. Aral ito, basa nito, basa niya yan. Hindi naman lahat yun ma-apply ko sa pamilya ko. So, with homeschooling kasi hindi naman lahat applicable for all eh. What is applicable for another family will be different from my family. It may work for them, may not work for us. Ganun. Right, Z? You say, wanna say hi? Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is Z. She's three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's have one more question na lang. Kasi gising na yung baby ko. Okay. We, uh, a homeschool provider. My homeschool provider is Peniel. Um, kay Kuya. He is enrolled there since kinder 2. So, ilang years na kami? Kinder 2 grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. So, it's our, we are on our fourth year in Peniel. Uh, for the two toddlers, they are independent independent homeschoolers. Ayan. Kasi, sayang naman. Ayan. So, there. So, I really have to gising na yung so, so, I have uh, just one last thing to share with you. And before we end, okay. Um, this is a quote that I love by Emily Boschwald. That's, children are made readers on the laps of their parents. So, <laughs> so um, if you're really, uh, if uh, hindi pa ready anak niya yung papalay at I have to, have, uh, to add, if hindi pa ready anak niya mag-aral ng phonetics, or phonics, you can actually teach them how to read by reading to them. Okay? Just just read to them every day. Yung, paul- yung the, the paulit-ulit na libro na laging kinukuha sa book, read it to them. It's okay. They can choose the book that, pati hindi na ako sila, pakalamabas yung isa, uh, to teach uh, 
ano ba siya sabi ko? Ayan, you can read the book to them every day kasi that will really help them love the love for reading and the love for learning. Ayun. And ito pa pala, I have to add rin another one. Um, I read an article, if yung father, if the father of the family is being seen, nakikita ng mga anak na nagbabasa, mas may encourage yung mga bata magbasa. So sabihin niyo sa mga husband niyo, magbasa sila, okay? Kasi pag nakikita nila yung daddy na nagbabasa, mas magbabasa yung bata. Uh, it really happens. Pag yung tatay nagbasa, ang mayayari kukuha yung bata ng book, mag read on their own. Pero pag si mami nagbasa, <laughs> kukulitin nila, read this to me, mama. <laughs> Diba? So, it's not unfair. Eh? But that's how it is. <laughs> okay, so, there. So, if you really love, uh, if you really like this um, video, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining our first Thursday, Thursday episode. Medyo matagal tayo. One hour. Yay! Hey, so, um, please, uh, like this video and share it with your friends, especially those who may mga malilit na bata. Kasi I know that all moms can teach their kids, okay? So, but before nyo isabak yun sa mga school, kasi ibang schools si panagre-record na dapat marunong na yung bata kahit pa paano magbasa or know their alphabet. You can do that at home, and I know you're doing it at home. So, uh, please share it with them. And if you have other um, suggestions on uh, the next Thursday Thursday editions natin, please do comment them or PM me so we can... Uh, Schedule ko ano yung magiging next natin ng mga Thursday, Thursday oh, edition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Alright, so thank you so much and I love you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you.